Hello, how do you convert nautical miles to kilometers? It's really simple because it's all based on the same thing, the distance between the equator and the North Pole. Now miles of land have been calculated many different ways, but they all were based on measuring a distance on land, either with paces or by laying out chains and surveying them, but none of that works in the ocean. You try to walk in the ocean, you end up swimming. You lay out chains, they sink. Even if you could precisely measure the speed at which you move through the water, you don't know how far or how fast you're going because the water itself is usually moving. So, to navigate through the ocean, they needed something different. Now, one thing they could rely on were the stars. By seeing the stars, you can measure your latitude. Even without instrumentation, you can get pretty good measurements of latitude by simply seeing what stars are visible above the horizon and which ones are not. And with instrumentation, you could be incredibly precise. So a nautical mile is 1 60th of one degree. There are 90 degrees from zero degrees north to 90 degree north from the equator to the North Pole. There's 90 degrees and there's 60 nautical miles in each degree. So, the distance between the North Pole and the equator is 60, 60 times 90 nautical miles for 5,400 nautical miles. That's the difference between the equator and the North Pole. Now, when Antoine Lavoisier, and I'm pretty sure it's Antoine Lavoisier, came up with the system of kilometers, he used that same metric from the equator to the North Pole, but he wanted it to be a metric. He didn't want numbers like that. So he wanted it to come out to an even 10,000 kilometers. As a result, 10,000 kilometers is now is equal to 5,400 nautical miles. The ants have just come in. They seem to think that since the humans have left because of the virus, that they own the place. Mm -hmm. The humans will be back. So 10,000 kilometers equals 5,400 nautical miles. So if you want to find out what one nautical mile is, divide both sides by 5,400. 5,400. And what you get is approximately, oh boy, I wrote it down. 1.852 um, kilometers is equal to one nautical mile. So if you want to try to convert the two, so you got a number. Um, so the number of kilometers in any distance is equal to the number of nautical miles times 1.8. Five, two. Now, by the way, um, I just rounded off. Since these are both based on the same thing, you know, the number you get, you can carry it to any, an unlimited number of decimals. But at some point, you got to say, hey, must be reasonable. So, there you go. Uh, the number of kilometers is equal to the number of nautical miles times 1.852. Remember, a kilometer is smaller than a nautical mile, so you're going to need more of them to get the same distance. Um, if you want to go the other way, the number of nautical miles is equal to the number of kilometers divided by 1.852. Again, since the nautical mile is bigger than the kilometer, you're going to need less of them to go the same distance. So if you're not getting that, then you've probably just done it backwards. So I hope that's been helpful, and I hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye.